For decades, the waist-to-hip ratio, or WHR, reigned supreme in the realm of female attractiveness. This ratio, a simple yet powerful measure, has been a cornerstone in defining beauty standards across cultures and generations. A WHR of 0.7, signifying a waist significantly smaller than the hips, was deemed the epitome of beauty. This ideal ratio was not just a number, it was a symbol of femininity and allure, celebrated in fashion, art, and media. This magic number, popularized by scientists and embraced by the media, seemed to hold the key to unlocking male desire. It was believed that this ratio was universally appealing, transcending cultural and temporal boundaries. The allure of the 0.7 ratio was deeply rooted in biology. Evolutionary psychologists argued that this specific proportion signaled health and reproductive potential, making it an instinctive preference for men. Studies suggested that this specific proportion correlated with fertility and overall health in women. Women with this ratio were thought to have optimal levels of estrogen, which is crucial for reproductive health. Men, subconsciously seeking fertile partners, were naturally drawn to this hourglass figure. This preference was seen as a biological imperative, driving mate selection and influencing social dynamics. However, the scientific landscape, much like the human understanding of beauty, is constantly evolving. As society progresses, so do our perceptions of what constitutes attractiveness. New research has emerged, challenging the long-held dominance of the DOHR. These studies suggest that beauty is far more complex and multifaceted than a single ratio can capture. This paradigm shift in our understanding of attractiveness comes from the University of Konstanz in Germany, a hub of innovative research and academic excellence, where a team of researchers led by Professor Ronald Hubner has unveiled fascinating insights. Their work is paving the way for a more inclusive and comprehensive understanding of beauty, one that celebrates diversity and individuality. Professor Hubner's team embarked on a mission to delve deeper into the intricacies of physical attractiveness. They were driven by a curiosity to understand the deeper layers of what makes certain body types more appealing than others. They suspected that the 0.7 ratio, while a significant factor, might not be the sole determinant of what makes a woman's body alluring. This ratio, often cited in scientific literature, had long been considered a gold standard, but the team believed there was more to the story. Their groundbreaking study, published in a prominent scientific journal, sent ripples through the world of beauty and science alike. The publication sparked debates and discussions, challenging long-held beliefs and encouraging further research into the subject. The researchers meticulously designed a series of experiments to unravel the complexities of human perception. They employed advanced technologies and innovative methodologies to ensure their findings were robust and reliable. Their findings challenged the established notion of the WHR as the ultimate measure of attractiveness. The team discovered that human attraction is far more complex and cannot be boiled down to a single numerical value. Instead, their work revealed a more nuanced and fascinating reality. They found that the interplay of various body features, including the overall shape and curvature, plays a significant role in how attractiveness is perceived. The study's results indicated that while the WHR plays a role, it's the overall curviness of the female body that holds the true power to captivate. This curviness, characterized by smooth transitions and balanced proportions, seemed to resonate more deeply with human observers. The human eye, it seems, is naturally drawn to the gentle curves and contours that grace a woman's physique. Eye-tracking technology used in the study revealed that participants' gazes lingered longer on bodies with pronounced curves. This newfound emphasis on curviness over a single numerical ratio marked a significant departure from previous understandings. It opened up new avenues for exploring the diverse ways in which beauty can be appreciated and understood, highlighting the importance of embracing a broader perspective on physical attractiveness. Professor Hubner's team identified a specific type of curviness that proved particularly appealing, the S-shaped contour. This sinuous line, flowing gracefully from the chest to the thighs, emerged as a key element of attractiveness. Think of iconic beauties like Marilyn Monroe or Kim Kardashian, whose figures epitomize this alluring S-shape. This preference for the S-curve, the researchers hypothesized, might be rooted in our evolutionary past. This distinctive shape could signal youthfulness, good health, and ultimately, reproductive fitness. Just as the vibrant plumage of a peacock attracts a mate, 
the graceful curves of a woman's body might have evolved to send a powerful signal of desirability. The implications of this research are profound. It challenges the often narrow and unrealistic beauty standards that women are held to. The 0.7 WHR, while applicable to some, fails to encapsulate the stunning diversity of female body types. This new understanding of attractiveness encourages a shift away from obsessing over a single measurement. It paves the way for a more inclusive definition of beauty, one that celebrates the captivating power of curves in all their forms. Women with different body shapes and sizes possess their own unique allure, and this study beautifully highlights that reality. Section 5. The Science of Attraction To arrive at their conclusions, Professor Hubner's team conducted a series of meticulously designed experiments. They recruited a large pool of participants, both male and female, from diverse backgrounds. This ensured that the findings were not skewed by cultural biases or limited sample sizes. The participants were shown a series of images featuring female figures with varying waist-to-hip ratios and degrees of curviness. Their task was simple yet revealing, to rate the attractiveness of each figure based on their immediate visual perception. The researchers carefully tracked eye movements, measured response times, and analyzed subjective ratings to gain a comprehensive understanding of what drives our perception of beauty. Section 6. Decoding the Male Gaze The results were striking and revealed fascinating insights into human attraction. While the 0.7 WHR did elicit a certain level of interest, it was not the sole factor in determining attractiveness. It was the figures with pronounced S-shaped curviness that consistently received the highest attractiveness ratings. These S-curves seemed to captivate attention more effectively. Interestingly, this preference transcended cultural backgrounds, indicating a universal appeal. This suggests a deeply ingrained biological basis for this attraction, rooted perhaps in evolutionary psychology. The study also shed light on the male gaze, a concept often discussed in the context of visual culture and media. The male gaze is frequently cited as a dominant force in shaping beauty standards, influencing both media and societal perceptions. Men, as it turned out, were not fixated solely on the WHR. Their gaze lingered longer on figures with more pronounced curves, and their responses were more enthusiastic and positive when confronted with these alluring S-curves. This finding highlights the complexity of human attraction and challenges the stereotype of men being solely drawn to a particular waist-to-hip ratio. It underscores the importance of considering multiple factors in understanding what drives human attraction and how beauty standards are formed. Section 7. Evolutionary Underpinnings The researchers believe that this preference for curviness, particularly the S-shape, might be rooted in our evolutionary past. In the ancestral environment where survival was paramount, men who were naturally drawn to women with these features were more likely to select healthy and fertile mates. The S-curve, often associated with a well-proportioned distribution of body fat, could signal a woman's ability to conceive and carry a pregnancy to term. This shape might also indicate good health and robust immune function, making these women desirable partners in the game of survival and reproduction. Section 8. Beyond the Numbers The University of Konstanz study serves as a powerful reminder that attractiveness is not a simple equation that can be reduced to a single numerical ratio. It's a complex interplay of factors with curviness emerging as a key player. This newfound understanding has the potential to reshape beauty standards, moving away from unrealistic ideals and embracing the captivating diversity of the female form. The study also underscores the importance of scientific inquiry in challenging long-held beliefs. By questioning the status quo and delving deeper into the complexities of human perception, we gain a richer and more nuanced understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Section 9 a new era of beauty. As we move forward, it's essential to embrace this more inclusive and scientifically grounded understanding of attractiveness. The 0.7 WHR, while a piece of the puzzle, is not the defining factor. It's the alluring S-curve, the graceful flow of lines, and the captivating power of curves that truly capture the essence of female beauty. Let us celebrate this diversity, challenge outdated norms, and appreciate the stunning tapestry of shapes and sizes that grace the female form. In doing so, 
We create a world where beauty is not confined to a single measurement, but celebrates